Okay, Victoria, this is, I'm going to do a recording for you to show you how to take this out of your switch. This is the new used switch. It's got this pigtail on here that they cut. Hopefully yours is okay. If not, you're going to have to splice these three wires into your, um, your harness. But we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. So to get this out, the key won't come out right now because there's no battery power to the switch. The connector plugs in here. Um, so to get this out of here, you have to turn this to the first line, not crank, but the first line right there. Then you're going to take a little pick and you're going to push this little pin right here. See how it's pushing in? If this key is in any position besides that first line, this pin will not push down. So go to the first line or the run position. This is where the key would be if the engine were running right now. You crank it and you let go, engine's running. So you're going to push this down, push that in, and then you're going to pull this. <clears throat> well, try it again. Push it back down. Oh, my tool is getting caught, that's why. So pull it up a little bit, take the tool out, then it'll come right out. Now this is your lock cylinder right here. This is your theft sensor. It's called a pass lock sensor, pass key. You're not going to use this. You're going to use your old cylinder and key assembly. So we're gonna put this to the side. So if you look at the housing, You'll notice that this harness here, you can, you can now get this harness out of this housing. You have to squeeze these two little locks right here and it'll pull right out. You can't take this out until you take this out. So to put this back in, you just line it up and push it in and it'll just snap in place. Don't worry if it pops out like that because once you put the cylinder in, There's electrical terminals in there and they plug into here. You're gonna line this cylinder up. Make sure this is still in the first position it should be. And you're just gonna put it in there, push down gently, and it should snap. Well, it didn't snap, but it's in place. It's not gonna come out because the little lock is there now. So we know it's in, it's in place. So again, put it on the, the first position you have off accessory in the first position. You're gonna push in this little detent, pull up a little bit, take the tool out, and then let's push in again. There we go. It's a little tricky, but this is the lock that keeps it inside of this housing. All right, so let's pretend this is your cylinder from your car, and this is the piece I'm going to send you. Put this on the first, the first line, so here's off, then accessory, and the first mark, and you should be able to just push this little pin in like that. If you can't push that pin in, you need to move this key a little bit until you can push that pin in. <clears throat> And again, on this connector here, if yours is messed up, you're going to have to try to fix it. There are three different colored wires here. You just have to splice them together. And that's it.